So yeah, what you've just seen, a little bit confusing, absolutely petrified when that first happened to me. Not sure if it's a bug or if it's just Minecraft being extra cautious. We experimented with what just happened on live stream. So it seems to be whenever you place down a campfire and you put it out and you log out while standing on a campfire, which is clearly not lit, by the way, I will spawn above ground. Glitch, bug, something's not quite right. But welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and today we are going to the stronghold. So I spent, I think it was about three hours on live stream with you guys mining to the stronghold. Now the stronghold is straight that way and over there. Thank you to everybody who did help me out in the comment section. I thought since this is an underground series, let's mine there rather than me grabbing all of my eye of the enders and throwing them and following them and throwing them and following them. Uh, I thought I'd take a little bit of advice from you guys and today we're going to be exploring it. But before we do that guys, let me share with you what I have been doing because I told you in the last episode I wanted to make like a volcanic cave biome creation. It's done. It's complete. I, I, I with the inspiration from you guys, I decided to introduce some coal blocks but you'll also notice that on our way down here i kind of sorted this hallway out a little bit more since we're going to be going back and forth quite a few times i thought why not make it a lot better so this was originally a ravine uh, i've kind of terraformed it to look a lot better we now have cracked in there We've got stone brick in there. We've got the coal. Uh, the coal looked a lot better on the sides, kind of like a charred effect, uh, but massively impressed. But if you guys have bridges like this, do not log off on, on these. It will not end very, very well. So my silk touch pick has taken a beating because we used, I think I think it's like 4,000 something. It's, it's like 1,900 straight and then 4,400 to the right, which is probably that way for you guys, that way. So I had to go down and then that way. It took me quite some time. I had to deal with so many water caves and oceans and stuff like that, but it's kind of like a, a clean sweep there. So what I want to do today in this episode is I want to do some exploring inside of there. We are not going to be killing the Ender Dragon until episode 50, uh, but I kind of want to see what is available there. Plus we can take all the bookcases and do some creations there. So I want to repair my uh, pick to start off today's video. I'm gonna use, we'll use these. It shouldn't take me too long to get this this down, but yeah, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hopefully you're staying safe. Uh, super impressed with how far we've come in this series. And I just realized one thing as well, guys. I need to put, what did I wanna put on this? There's definitely something I wanted to do. I've got mending depth strider. We don't have them breaking. How expensive was it? It's definitely, we're nearly there. We we're two levels away. Uh, but I'll tell you, I'll show you guys one thing that I've been doing in this series. Or one thing that I came back with. So I wasn't necessarily mining ores. I just wanted to get to the stronghold. Uh, we come back with 12 diamonds. Stacking and a lot more than a half of iron ore. And 60 gold as well. And, and a bunch more coal. But I don't really need them. And, and this and this. Uh, there's no point in me harvesting them at this point. I got an insane amount of diamonds that I'm currently not using whatsoever. How many do we have? So a lot of diamonds to currently not need at this point. But what we're gonna do on my way to the stronghold today is we're gonna kind of pick up all the ores. But I wanna see if the dark room is active. Now, again guys, in 1.16, the dark room will become a lot more active and useful. We're on 1.14.60 now. I don't know where they get the 60 from. Uh, so this thing is definitely for future projects. It's not really great right now. Every now and then we will get things spawning. Uh, that is just a prime example of how broken the Bedrock version has been for quite some time. Since two or three years they haven't fixed this. But let's repair my pick because on the way I will pick up a couple of ores. It's quite a lot of iron. Uh, quite a lot of coal that I wouldn't mind taking. We are... Oh man. Alright, well for the time being we're just going to put these inside of here. I don't have enough space, you see. So we'll leave these inside of here. With this. Let's put them inside of there. Hold this in my hand. Uh, and let's disenchant. So I refuse to get rid of my bows. They're quite useful now. 
Pure and simply for dispensers purposes. I don't know what project I'm gonna work on next. Kinda happy with the outcome of my cave. So there's definitely something else we need to work on. Right guys, let's get suited and booted and let's go to this stronghold. So again, a big thank you to everybody who has been supporting this series. We've come a very long way in a short period of time and I feel like I've put a lot more time and effort into this world than I have previously. Again, I really like this. I checked this out with the Minecraft RTX. It is absolutely beautiful. The lava contrasts really, really well. So anything from this point now, well not from this point because we already mined down here. When we get into a singular one, because I was going to do it two by two like this, then I realized I'm wasting time and I'm wasting resources, especially the durability of my pick. So this goes all the way down. I'm going to tell you guys when I'm there, just keep an eye on my uh, Z coordinates. First couple of ores to start off with today, but we're still not there. It's right there. Uh, I started doing it like two by two and I thought, what is the point? I am wasting time. I don't really need all of this coal right there. We will come back for that. I've told myself in this series to try and take as many ores as I can because remember guys, we were really, really low on iron for such a long time, but there's a little bit more here. So I want to make sure we go back and just pick up what I didn't pick up because I was doing it. Uh, I wanted to just get there to make sure the coordinates were correct. We can see here, dude, there's so many ores and I have to be really careful and coal, ores behind ores. I have to be really careful because uh, when we start getting further down, we head into we head into an ocean. You can see water above me, so I gotta be really careful on on what ores I break, because that is a prime example of what I keep or kept having to deal with when I was doing this. Now, if you guys are just interested in seeing me get to the fortress or the not the fortress, the stronghold, uh, feel free to skip ahead in today's video. I don't mind, but we have quite a few ores that I I, I want to make sure I pick up, and I also want to make sure there's 19. I'm not going all the way down there right now. That's a cave. That's a cave for a rainy day. Whenever we need something. But if you guys are interested in just seeing me explore, feel free to skip ahead. But let's take every single ore. It's quite risky, isn't it? Let's try and take every single ore on my way there. And, ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, so I built this one myself. A lot of these tunnels I had to build myself. It's usually the coal ore that's really common. It's probably the ore that I need least. But one day... We'll be very low on coal resources, and I know I use it. Plus, guys, I really love how beautiful the creation is down there with the lava and the coal blocks. Coal blocks are not cheap, so having abundance of coal is a really, really good idea in this kind of world. I'm just thinking, guys, I'm collecting so many ores here. <sighs> Am I going to have to go back and place them all inside a chest before we actually go and explore this fortress? Because I'll tell you what. That is a lot of ores to start off with. I try to not take everything with me because I wanted to try and like there's gonna be bookcases and enchanted books. And I'm hoping I'm hoping there's gonna be some uh apples. Maybe some golden apples. Alright, well kinda no dude. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize how many ores I actually left. Alrighty, let's keep going. So at places like this I gotta be quite careful because these were physically uh, water ravines. There's a lot of lava around here as well. I should probably take you too, right? Is it gonna let me get you? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna slow down on the coal. Once I have one extra stack, so I can have one more... St <laughs> I forgot where every single one of these is. Once we have, I'm just gonna leave that. Can we take these ones? Another stack of 64 coal, then... I'm gonna chill on the coal resources. So we've currently got, dude, this is insane. And this is just stuff that I left, not counting the stuff that I actually picked up on my on my way to get in there. I'm still not even on the oh, mining down. Those are dangerous things to do. That could have been one of the most disappointing episodes ever. Mine into lava, just as we're getting closer to killing the Ender Dragon. That would be a huge, huge, huge disappointment. I need to make sure we take some extra stuff at this as well, though. Alrighty, redstone. I'm still not on the other coordinate level yet. I know there's coal there, but I'm kind of... Wait, this, there was a cave here, yeah. Again, we found two caves that I'm openly gonna explore eventually. And there's another one too. We will take, come on, we'll take you. So what are we on? All right, a little bit more iron, a little bit more coal. 
Let's get on the different coordinates now and I'll show you guys what I've got. I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Man, I haven't stopped mining. Because it got to a point, guys, where my inventory was full when I was doing it on live stream that I couldn't physically take anything because I needed uh, blocks to stop water and stuff. So we are... Let's get to the end of this. I'm, I'm, I'm filling up like a whole row. Is there more? Filled up a whole entire row when it comes to ores without even being on the different axes. So we need to get a 1,400, I think it was. Yes. And then we go this way. And as you guys can see, there's all the blocks that I couldn't pick up last time. So... I'm probably going to end up picking these ones up, but what I am going to do is I'm not going to pick up ores on this one because we are going to need space for exploring the stronghold. Okay, we're finally here. It might not seem long to you guys, but it is incredibly long to get here. Now to start off with, I don't need this. We're getting rid of this. It caused a lot of trouble uh, when I was here yesterday. So we're just going to light this place up. Get down a couple of these. There is some stuff through there. There's a cave through there. And something that we learned on live stream, by the way, guys, is that there is 128 uh, strongholds in Minecraft in each Minecraft seed, in case you guys did not know that. Now, in terms of what we have available, because this could possibly be the thumbnail for today's picture, is that um, only one eye of the ender. I mean, I don't want to be cheap because we have them stacked up, but man, that's got to be one of the most unluckiest ones. But one eye of the ender, this is going to be episode 50, where we do, hopefully, fingers crossed, defeat the ender dragon. Today, we're going up. Um, there's not one in here that I technically need, in, in, in all honesty with you guys. I don't need, I'm leaving that there as well for now. All this, most of the silverfish have gone. Had to start, wherever you see coal, uh, stone, I had to fill these in. So... First experience of this place. Let's go and do some exploring because these usually do hold quite a few goodies. And there's our first chest. Now also there is, um... okay, before we go through that, let's go through it bit by bit. There is also a, <laughs> really? I mean, I'll take the bread, that's about it. It's not worth it, honestly. I mean, if I have enough space when I come back, I will take it, but is that, sp is that sp spawner? No, it's not. All right, another chest. Yeah, welcome to Minecraft, everybody. <laughs> it's so broken. Probably shouldn't have done that, honestly. <laughs> That's still going to float there. So we kind of like to see floor. There's two chests here. So one. Oh, man. Just iron chest plates. They're really not that great. And again. They're like the least of the things that I want. What's down here? Okay, I gotta be really careful that I don't get too lost because... Okay, dead ends. Good, I like dead ends. Because this one seems to be like a really, really, really big structure. Sometimes they're a lot smaller. Kind of curious as to where or if even has a... Because some strongholds can have two bookcase rooms. I'm not going to mine under there. I don't think there's too much up here either. So it's kind of like a dead end. Yeah, that pleases me. All right, this is this is a dead end as of now. I don't really need to deal with that. Uh, hmm. Probably going to have to make some torches. We're going to have to break some coal. Well, we'll see how we get on anyway. Because, ooh, there's a really big open area. Yep, more Minecraft logic right there. Right, well, let's just grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just grab like this many. Good job I have uh, sticks, actually. It's a very, very good job we have sticks. I hear a lot of gurglers. All right, so this is this should be enough. That's a stack and a bit. If this is not enough to explore this, then this is a really, really big stronghold. Uh, nothing in here though. Again guys, not even mobs, not even finding mobs. Now, another day I will take the iron bars and stuff, but today that's not really needed. Here's the sea floor. I kind of want to go out there and see how big this structure is. Dude, this makes no sense. That's the first mob that we found. All right, let's grab some stone. Let's fill these in. Dude, is that really just created like an? I just created a really weird infinite water source. Let's get rid of you because we don't need you for a start. 
And then we've got even more weirdness in here as well. I don't think there's anything in here that I need. Let's go and check. Just a really weird structure. Still no... Dude, this makes no sense. This place is huge. <laughs> a lot of it makes no sense, though. Dead ends. Yes. Again, in case you guys don't know, I created this world originally in a beta. Very, very bad idea. Betas break your worlds. But then again, I'd never been in this chunk, so it shouldn't be this broken. Hello? Oh, man, I'll take this is one of the biggest strongholds I've found in a long time. So, anything through here? That's where I've just been. All right, guys, I'm going to do some exploring and see if we can find anything useful because right now we're just finding non-stop water and I'm going to end up wasting too many torches. There's nothing in here, right? Yeah. Pointless room. Well, we found a little bit of gold, but I've honestly gone... This is a massive stronghold, guys. I've not been here before. And this is a new area of the map that I've still not explored. But it doesn't link anywhere. Nothing links anywhere useful. I'd be so disappointed if I don't find the room that I'm looking for. That's another dead end. Boy, we need I need to find some more torches. I'm also a little bit lost now. <laughs> it gets even weirder, guys. This is a floating torch. This is a floating torch. Okay, this is a new part that I've not been... <gasps> yes, that's good news. Okay, good. Uh, that's one. Right, there is a high possibility, considering the size of this place, there could well be another one. I'm hearing a lot of monsters as well. Uh, again, this is all new, new territory that we've not really been to. Unless I have, and I'm just going around in circles. I see you, don't you worry, I see it. All right, well, my biggest problem at the moment is uh, I didn't think I was going to need this many torches or sticks. Let's uh, fix that, shall we? Because that's not a problem, right? Okay, so we've marked out one. That's all dead ends. Just making sure we fully cleared it all. Back up. Okay, so let's go back down. I want to mark... I want to get into that room and see... Ah, oh, is this silk touch? Oh, man. I've got a silk touch pick, but I don't know how long it's going to take for me to pick all that stuff up. So I don't need this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. These are all not needed. Let's go mark this. Because I don't have any wood to make... Where is it? <laughs> Where is it now? Uh, uh, I've just seen it. Alright, let's get there anyway. So, let's break in. I know, books aren't a good idea. Ooh, okay. Books are not really a good idea for me today. Uh, I think Silk Touch is probably going to be my best option. Problem is, guys, it's going to take quite some time to do this. And I've also realized... That I have shears too that I should have used. Wait, this whole time, this whole time it was here. There's usually something up top too. It's a really weird skelly bones who is firing arrows at me. There's a chest here as well, but it's not great. Do they nerf the loot in here? It's maybe like the hardest place to go in Minecraft is is. Well, one of the hardest structures to find in Minecraft. So I, yeah, this was right here the whole time. Wow, okay. <gasps> okay, so we've now found both of them. Perfect. Right, I don't need to find anything else in here, I guess. Wait, unless that's like, that's, no, that's not, that's, wait. Why am I confused all of a sudden? Was I just in this one? 
No, this is the one I was in. Okay, so it's... <laughs> Let's get up top and see what- I don't want to break these guys because cobwebs are really good for builds. Uh, unfortunately I broke a lot in the earlier stages on my mineshaft because we needed string. Let's get rid of you. There's a couple of books. I'm probably going to start by taking- oh wait, this wood, I could take this. We could use these. I didn't have to craft them again, but alright, let's start by just taking a- I mean, however many I can. So we're on 27, it's just really soul destroying doing this. I'm probably gonna get like maybe one or two stacks because I don't, I mean, how, how many books does this produce per once? Three, right? I mean, I don't really technically need to be carrying too many different things because what we can do is we can make sticks and then make torches. And I can always get rid of a bunch of things. So yeah, probably I'm best off just taking books for now. Because there's nothing else in here that we need. There's probably a couple of bookcases, uh, sorry, probably one or two more chests down below that could possibly have enchanted books. But this is just because I can make my own library and my own book room. Some extra resources. Right, so we are getting full. Not quite there. We don't need you. Uh, I, I want to keep the books just because I know they're kind of useful, right? We'll get rid of that. So we've got a little bit more space left here. There's nothing really up here that I want to keep. There's nothing else inside of there that I want to keep. So let's start taking down these. We'll do the middle before we do the outside. I mean, I can always come back. That's not a problem, right? I can always come back. I probably will come back once or twice because I always feel like I miss things. Also, I feel like the stronghold could do with an update as well. Okay, so we are not full yet. There, 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 there could possibly still be another book room that I'm yet to find. So we will do a little bit more exploring for that. If I can take the middle out. Dude, I'm fine with the cobwebs. Okay, so we need to get rid of something else. I don't need gum. I mean, I do need gunpowder. In fact, guys, I think I don't need apples. I'd rather have gunpowder than apples. Come on. So I might have to leave the ones on the side. Maybe one or two of these ones as well. So what are we on there? 64, 59, 62. And that's what I can take. I can't pick up that. I can put one inside of here. Uh, all right. I didn't mean to do that. Is that two? And an extra one. So that's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. So anything else in here we know has come back for. I don't need apples either, to be honest. Uh, so that was right here on my doorstep. Now I never ever... Wait a second. I never ever explored the whole entire thing. There's gonna be a couple more secrets. And I know for a fact there will be. Again, not every stronghold has two book rooms. Uh, but there's always the possibility that they do. Now I came from... I came from this way, or one of these ways, and there's still multiple areas that we can go down. Like, I don't know if this is the one where we came from. And there we go. We just found ourselves another book room. I wonder, whoa, we're gonna relax for a second. Thank you for your, I should just kill him with a sword, I've got. Out. Dude, he dropped everything there. Bow, armor, and bones. So there's another one that we found. Hold on. So this is more of the stronghold that I never explored. I'm actually impressed how big this place is. Thank you. I did see, I did see two. One's gonna blow up. Yeah. Darn you. Whoa, silverfish. I forgot about you guys too. Dead ends, good. I like dead ends. All right, so one more section I think we have. And more floating torches. Welcome to Minecraft Hogwarts edition. 
get rid of you, and also you. They were obviously trapped in the dungeon. Oh, there's more. There could be a spawner. Did you guys keep coming out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm super impressed with how big this place is, though, guys. I wonder if there's, like, even one more book room. It's just a shame that there's not more things that can be found inside of here. What's that? I think it's pretty much just you have the portal and you have the book rooms. So, yeah, I feel like they are a little bit outdated. But I think there could be one more section that we didn't explore. We don't need any of the loot. That's not going to disappear anyway. There's probably some more stuff around here that we will exp we will have to go and look for. Another dead room. I'd love to see a fully designed stronghold. So there's one more section, and that's to so we've done that one. I'm gonna make like an arrow design so I know that's where the bookcase is. I never ever went down this one either. That one goes down and then back up. That makes no sense, and that is very, very pointless. And that is somewhere we've already been. Um, did we come from this way? No, we didn't. Another dead end. I don't have any torches now. So that's not good. But one there. There's one there. We probably came from this way, you know. Yes, we did. We did come from this way. And there it is. So in terms of the guys, impressed. Quite impressed. Look at the ores we found on the, on the way here. And there's still a lot of ores I haven't taken. Very, very good haul. Um, it just means that when we come back, this is right next to where I needed to go. It's right here. So with that, guys, wait a second. We can take you... Got a little bit of extra space for uh, that. What else do I have space for? I could probably take some more iron and some redstone. So let's start taking them on the way back. Halfway home. <laughs> this one shouldn't be too bad. I'll show you guys on the map. We're now on the right coordinate level. We just gotta go to about here on the map. trip really does put it into perspective of how far away it is and how much mining I had to do to get there. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, I'm a level 32 guys. To get to level 34, we can enchant those boots and they are fully maxed out. And that's a fully maxed out backup set of armor. Uh, what I am going to do is we're going to smelt them. We're going to put them in the super smelter. Super happy how many books we got. I mean, I'm not desperate for books by any stretch, but I'd rather have them than not have them. Since they're free, and we've got another room that we can take down as well. But boy, that is one crazy trip. But that trip is now done. Uh, books. I mean, they're just going to be books pure and simply based on disenchanting. Uh, that's already full, so that's kind of whack. Uh, let's 
What am I gonna smelt? All my gold and all my iron. That should hopefully give me enough levels, right? So not even my not my diamonds. We're not smelting them. Uh, I might. I, you know what? I'll take the diamonds because we can break them. Don't need any coal. Any coal that I broke previously, I do not need. Uh, sorry, we've fully replaced it. A lot of redstone as well. You'd be surprised how fast I am going through redstone in this series. For someone who doesn't do redstone, I am using redstone more frequently. Which is always a good thing. So, uh, fortune, not bad. Impaling, not bad. Infinity, not bad. It isn't too bad whatsoever. Uh, Gunpowder. We need, like, lots of this if we're going to do any form of TNT mining. Got some extra bread. I might even go throw that to my villagers in hopes that they breed. Whose little kitty is this? This one is Clover. We've got cats everywhere, and they've all got names now. So, that also makes me very, very happy. I think if I remember correctly in my super smelter, we had crack. So I needed cracked. No, not that I used that much crack down there, but we've been using it. I also have to fix this as well because this wasn't picking up, and I still I still don't think it's picking up the stuff from there. So I have to break and replace it. Who we got here? We got Phoenix. Foix. Uh this needs to come out. All of it needs to come out. So we will go with iron to start off with. Iron resource. Oops, that's wrong. Wrong chests. Wrong chests. Unless these are... No, they, there's plenty left. So we will go iron, 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 gold, and gold. That should not take too long to smelt. Is that also... A, oh, that's the wrong one, dude. Why would I put you in there? That's just me being stupid. You know what? That is going to take quite some time to smelt now. That's just me being stupid. I'm going to go inside of here. I don't think it really matters which ones go anywhere, to be honest. Um, I'll take you... And you... Anything smelted? Four have smelted. I want to make sure whenever I pick this up, though, I take my armor off. I think that could and should be all of it now, though. Anything in here? Anything in there? All right, let's go and get rid of my stone, crack stone brick, and let's break my diamonds. So, unfortunately, it's going to prioritize my pick in terms of mending, but we've got 12. I kind of want to see how many we end up with. From this. Maybe you guys can leave a comment before I break these of how many you think I'm gonna get. My guess would be 45. And I've just sucked touch it again. <laughs> oh, today has been a long day and a long day of traveling in Minecraft. Let's put you here. So fortune. Okay, let's see if we can get 45. Bit of a stretch, right? We're already. Uh 27. 45 was definitely a little bit too much to ask. But we're on level 40 133. This requires 34. But I guess we can say that for a rainy day. Depends how fast it's smelting. It smelts twice as fast, but there's still a lot to be smelted, right? No. Dude, it, it is all filtering. Ah, you know what, guys? I think we could wait it out. All right, guys. So while these are smelting, let's take these out. In terms of producing anything XP related, I just got no XP. I'm not going to get XP, am I, though? Because it's going to go to the hopper. So maybe that was a bad idea. I'd have to take them physically out of there. All right, well, we're going to have to save that for another day because I think that's exactly how that's going to work. It's not going to give me the XP because of the hoppers, right? Because they're locked. Is it classed as locked? I can't remember. But um, I'm not too worried about the XP. It's not hard to get in this well. But guys, I've had a lot of fun in this series. I'm still in a lot of fun. In a couple more episodes, we will fight the Ender Dragon. Then we can go and visit End Cities. Then we can have the Elytra. Then hopefully... In another above ground episode, we can go and take on a guardian temple, which is really, really far away. But guys, if you want to see some more, hit that like button. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!